It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell. The Dean Blundell Show. This is mass madness, you maniac. 102.1 The Edge. This... Is your edge Hold it. files <laughs> with Dean Blundell on the edge? A uh, 15 year old boy from Sweden faces criminal charges after a woman he ran into while riding a skateboard died from her injuries. Dude, How skate- fast was he skateboarding going? kills. <laughs> totally right, man. Skate or die, dude. Die. <laughs> <laughs> The woman in her 60s walking her daughter with her daughter on a path for cyclists and pedestrians when the skateboarding team crashed into her. The impact center falling backwards, causing her to hit her head on the pavement, oh. taking the hospital. She died. 15-year-old reported suffered minor fractures. The boy was released from the hospital. Condition of the woman failed to improve Sunday, and that's when she died. Saying it's extremely tragic, the uh, police have since launched a wrongful death investigation to determine whether the 15-year-old should be charged. Mm. Oh, get out of the way, old lady. Huh? Hit her from the front. She can see it coming. A lot of punk skateboarders, though. Yeah, there are. But, you know, some people got to pay attention to. Like, would you move out of the way for a guy on a bike? I do my best to, yeah. 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 Well, you move out of your way for a skateboarder, too. They're on wheels. They just have goofier hair, baggier pants. And chances are they're... And I can't say that. (laughs) It's her fault. Dude, it is. She's got to get out of the way. What? No, I don't know. You know. I'm just, I was just wondering if you like start doing some like jumps over the body and stuff. Like, ollied? Yeah. Maybe I'll I'll ollie. Ollie. Yeah, <laughs> hey, let me. I'm gonna ollie this old lady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a truck stand on her ankles. <laughs> Tony Hawkwood. <laughs> And uh, if you wondered if bath salts are here, yes, they are. Lots mm. of them. Police searched the house on Huron Street, led to the discovery of a $1.5 million worth of drugs, including bath salts. Mm. 11 firearms, too. A strange name, Bennett Wong, Wong, 27-year-old, already under arrest Sunday when officers executed a search warrant at his Yorkville apartment. They found cash and drugs and paraphernalia. $800,000, an AK-47. Oh, gee, that's hardcore, right? <laughs> that's like, that's movie stuff yeah. right there, yeah. <laughs> AK-47, this is in Yorkville, right know, over here, AK-47. Like, this must be the nicest area in Toronto, <laughs> maybe in Canada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> neighbors are publishers, they had no idea. <laughs> Wait a second, he's a nice Asian man, I didn't know. 800 grand worth of crystal meth and a variety of other drugs package was labeled bath salts. Oh. oh. That's why I had the guns. Yeah. You sell it to them, then you protect yourself right afterwards. Okay, you're going to do it, but you're going to do it over there, and I'm going to point this gun at you the whole time, <laughs> just in case you just try eating my face. Grr, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> a little weird. You know, you think about how much, how, how people didn't see him going in and out of the house with all those drugs <laughs> and an AK-47. <laughs> the gun, yeah. Hey, imagine him. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> It's just a toy. <laughs> <laughs> it's only pretend gun. <laughs> hey, you might have friends. I say we move on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those are your Edge Files. We're going to have it is in June the year 2012. <laughs> the Edge Files. On 102.1. The Edge. This, this is the Dean Blundell Show. We are dickhead free. 102.1. The Edge. This is uh, one, one long passage I'll do today, all right? Here we go. Now, the scene... Is in a bathroom, okay? Step out of your jeans. Grasping the edge of the sink, I do just that. I am now naked, staring at myself, and he's kneeling behind me. He kisses and then softly bites my bum, making me gasp. He stands and stares at me some more in the mirror. I try hard to stay still. He he splays his hands across my belly, the span of his hands almost reaching from hip to hip. Wow. Look at you. (laughs) 
<laughs> you are beautiful, he murmured. He clasped both of my hands in his, his palms against the back of my hands. His fingers in between mine so that my fingers are splayed. He places my hand on my belly. Feel how soft your skin is. His voice is soft and low. He moves my hands in a slow circle, then upwards towards my boobies. <laughs> Feel how full your boobies are. <laughs> <laughs> how you like them apples, I say. That's in the book. No. Okay. <laughs> he holds my hands so that they cup my boobies. He gently strokes my nipples with his thumbs oh, over and over. I moan. Oh. Between parted lips. Oh. And I arch my back. Oh, no. Things are getting serious here. <laughs> it's mostly because of my arthritis. But... So my breasts fill my palms. He squeezes my nipples between oh. our thumbs, pulling gently so that they elongate further. Oh, this feels pretty good. He guides my hands down the side of my body, past my waist to my hips and across my, oh, I don't know, my pubes. And he rubs his hands over my ditzy doodle. <laughs> what? Is that in there? No, the ditzy. ditzy doodle. <laughs> That's an expression to, when you're dirty talking. <laughs> ditzy doodle. Rub that ditzy doodle. <laughs> It's so erotic, truly I am a marionette and he is the master puppeteer. He is the Edgar Bergen to my Charlie McCarthy. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll see if I can pull out another one for you yeah. later. No, yeah. no, I'll pull it out. Okay. <laughs> What's shaking, boys? What's happening, brother? Nothing, bro. I'm all the way to work right now with my mom. I got no other transportation. Lost my license. So. Uh, why'd you lose your license? Well, I've had seizures in the last couple months. I've had four in the last month. Why? Uh, they can't figure it out either. We got, went to the doctors yesterday, and they all they could tell us is to try these new drugs. So I said, might as well. So, how old are you? I'm 24 years old. I called in yesterday. I was about, it was about my girlfriend I broke up with a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. About my brother-in-law and stuff. I don't remember. You're going to have to refresh my memory. Well, I, I was calling you yesterday. I said that I should have listened to my brother-in-law a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I really should have. Honestly, I wasn't happy at the time. I am now. Attaboy. So, it's all about you know, happiness. That's all it is. And you guys are right. You guys, if you're not doing it, if you're not, if you're not happy with somebody, you got to do something about it, right? Yeah. So, you happy now? Oh, I'm buddy. I'm gravy train, baby. Is See, your mom beside you? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. My mom's sitting right next to you. Are you happy? <laughs> Are you happy that your mom needs to work right now? Well, I got no other choice. Bro. Yeah, that a boy. The, do the doctor took my license, so it's either that or a hitchhike. Yeah, no, you're good. So you're going to be able to drive again or no? Oh, uh, I don't know yet. I got to go for more tests uh, next week. And what happens when you have seizures? Uh, I just start convulsing and uh, pretty much swallow my tongue and almost die. No way. Oh, that's scary, oh, man. It's what, what do you do for a living? I do truck exhaust. I do transport truck exhaust. <laughs> no, that's all right. That's and you're 24? 24 years old, bro. Yeah, I like guys that know what they're doing in life, and they decide to go work hard for yeah. a living at a young age. Good for you, dude. Mm -hmm. Thanks, buddy. I love my job. I like going to work every day. It sucks a little bit, but you know you got to make money, right? Atta boy. And if you're doing something you like to do, that's good. Hope you hang in there. Hi, The Edge. Hey, Dean. How you doing? Jamie uh, here. Jamie, what's up? Not much, brother. I just want to oh. say, uh, Psychic Nikki, she's uh, she's right on the button, eh? She oh, she's been, uh, yeah. Ew, I don't like yeah that. Oh, you're don't thinking of her. Never, right. Can you never say <laughs> Psychic <laughs> Nikki <laughs> on the button? <laughs> yeah, she, all, all these uh, people get eaten and stuff. She called this a few weeks ago, and uh, a bear went into the city a few months ago, and you guys never really talked about that one. But yeah, man, she's on the button, man. Dude, she said uh, crows would attack people, and they did over the weekend. No way. Yeah, man. And oh, we even yeah, in Winnipeg, there's a bunch yeah. of mail carriers that refuse to deliver the mail because crows keep trying to kill them. 
<laughs> and we made a joke, Angry Birds. <laughs> he loves it. He loves yeah. it. He, and we, then that was a headline. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, heavy. Great. I, I just want to say, yeah, you guys do a great job. Thanks, you boss. Morning. I drive for a living, and you guys have a great day, my friend. You too, buddy. Take care. Thanks for your call. Hi, yeah, the thanks. Edge. Wow. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, but tip. Not too bad. Um, <laughs> what's about my relationship? Yeah. Me and my girlfriend have been going out for about three and a half years now. Yep. And um, at first I thought she was, you know, small town kind of girl. Wholesome, you know. But now she's starting to kind of want an open relationship. And uh, I'm, I don't really want that. Then tell her you don't want it. <laughs> yeah, Do you like her? Oh, I love, I love her. Like, I want her to be happy, you know. No, you don't. <laughs> well, well, what did, does she does she want you to bring want peace of mind? Yeah. Does, does she want to introduce people into the bedroom, or just like with other people uh, going anywhere with her? Like she'll meet a guy, you meet a girl, that type of thing. Is he gone? Yeah, I think he's gone. That's the age old question with guys. Oh, my girl wants to do other other. See, I wouldn't mind. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't mind. I'm not into it. But if a girl, like, if let's say I was married and uh, whatever the person I was married to said, you know, I really want to try a woman, I'd say. Well, let's talk about it. But if she said, I really want to bring another man, I'd say, you know what? We'll see you later. Thank you very much. It's been a great ride. <laughs> yeah, we're very selfish that way as guys. They would be like, okay, we can introduce other women into this, but not other well, guys. The, no, you, <laughs> other women's a novelty. Other guys yeah. is just replacing you for a few minutes. But what if she said, you can be with other women all the, all you I want? I couldn't do it. I know. Because mm-hmm. you, you start, well, you get too emotional, right? No, you know what I mean. You would, you would be upset. <clears throat> and when I say emotional, I mean angry. Angry is an emotion. Oh, at them. Yeah. You'd be no, upset you, if you, you asked. No, but you yeah. asked me if I would do it. You said, yeah. "Would you?" No, because you be with another woman yeah. in front of you. No, there's no way. I couldn't do it. It'd just be too. Uh, you'd be like, "Hey, Kay, don't look. For, don't look at this one because I haven't tried this with you. Don't watch this one because these two fingers. I don't ever. Don't watch me. Don't critique." So you wouldn't do a. Nah. You wouldn't have a threesome if she no, offered it. Never. Wow. I couldn't do it. It's 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 not. Uh, and it's mostly about about the other person, right? Like you don't want to. You no, but she op- you don't want to open up pet. No, I wouldn't no. do it. I'd say, well, if that's what you got to do, you got to go do it with somebody else. I'll talk to you in five years. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At the edge. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's up? Uh, heading into work. Who's this? Uh, who? <laughs> <laughs> Who's dial? Who are you calling? Uh, I'm calling uh, Diener. Yeah, this is Diener. This doesn't sound like Diener. Uh, well, it is. And if you don't start saying something interesting in three seconds, I'm gonna hang up the phone. There you go. <laughs> you know what I did the other day? I called somewhere to book an appointment, and I gave my name, and they went, yeah, right, and then they hung up. Right. It's yeah. come to that, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know how frustrating yeah, that is? That's stupid. Hi, The Edge. Hello. Good morning, boys. Hey, dude. Hey, good morning. Yesterday, I was walking Church Street. I woke up. I drank too much. I woke up, and... Uh, my rectum was hurting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Good one. Good one, bud. <laughs> He's been trying to tell yeah. that story for a month. <laughs> and maybe it was because he just wanted it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the other guys. Yeah. Hi, The Edge. Hey, how's it going? Good. Who's this? Uh, Brian. Hi, Brian. How are Ooh. you? I'm good, thanks. What's up? Um, I'm just thinking, since it's awkward male question day, maybe you guys should call up Adrian and see if he has any questions for you guys. No, we I talked to him last week uh, off the air, and then we, we were getting ready to talk to him, and he hung up. Oh. Yeah. All we, right. We can give him a shot, though. Yeah, do it. Maybe we should. I haven't talked to him in forever. <sighs> yeah, that was very strange last week. Yeah. We're like seconds away. There we go. Yeah, look at this. You can't deliver mail in Winnipeg anymore. It's a crazy story, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's right. It's in today's paper. God, where is that prick? <laughs> no, I'm not interested in waiting for him anymore. That's how little I care. <laughs> Hi, the edge. Good morning, Dean. How are you? Good. Who's this? It's uh, JJ calling. We haven't spoken in a while. Yeah, what's happening? Not much, you know. I'm just on the internet the other day, and uh, uh, I heard there's this uh, account on the internet, uh, like a website. Yep. Where you go on it and uh, you check out some girls, like it's called Plenty of Fish. Yeah, it's a dating site. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you, did you just hear about that? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not really an internet person, you know. Okay. No, usually a worker, but uh, yeah. 
so I've noticed uh, all these girls, they all have these certain faces on this. Like, one would have the duck face and the other one have this big fat smile in every single picture. And I'm just thinking to myself, you know what? Why can't you just not pose for a picture? Yeah. You get like a natural shot, you know? Get, get yeah. the real beauty in there, but... Well, you know... know just, it's 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 all, it's the same dude. The same reason why girls do these poses, and I guarantee on plenty of fish and any of these other sites, I think guys mm-hmm. must do it too. But I know women do it. Uh, they they post pictures from when they looked their very that's, very very best. Yeah, that's my favorite because yeah, it's like yeah. from 08. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> from, from a wedding. <laughs> yeah. And that was like six years and thirty pounds ago. So yeah. they, that's why they do the duck face to make themselves yeah. look skinnier. It was yeah, when they yeah, used to like, model. Like this one chick, I looked at a picture. I'm just like. I was like, oh, pass. <laughs> <laughs> what What'd you what say, dude? You, you said, ah, oh, what? Ah, uh, pass, you know? <laughs> <laughs> What's your picture? Uh, I actually have a picture of Tom Cox. Uh, world famous DJ, so I just oh. put that up there for now. Oh, Carl Fox. No, yeah. He's a world famous DJ. Yeah. Yeah. He's a wiki wiki wiki. That guy. It's a pretty good yeah, observation, guy, though, man. Yeah, wiki wiki guy. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have you hooked up? Have you hooked up with any chicks from there, brother? Or no? Um, you know what? I was just actually doing it for shitting gig. Um, but uh, I'm looking for a good girl to settle down with. You know, so it's that's kind of hard to find nowadays. You sound like a good guy. How old are you? I'm 21. You're 21, uh, and you want? What do you want to do with your life? Well, right now I'm in the production industry, and uh, I'm going to get my school going, September goes, and hopefully I can uh, land a nice job, and just, uh, I love riding motorcycles, I'll give you that. Oh, do you? It's, it's, a, it's a passion of mine. You know, a lot um, of people, you know, a lot of people say they cut you off, but a lot of people, you know, they tell me it's a dangerous hobby, and blah, 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 I'm just like this, just double check before you change the lanes, and watch out for bikers, and it'll be a little bit safe to go out, but... Well, that's, a, that's great motorcycle advice this yeah, morning. So you? thank you very much. I appreciate it. But at the same time, uh, it, you're too young to be on Plenty of Fish. you got to be like a 32-year-old woman to be on there. Yeah, get out. Have some fun, man. Yeah, and go, don't, don't go, settle go down meet, so Go early. meet women yeah. in, a, in a public place. Okay? Do that for me. Too young to be on Plenty yeah, of Fish. Yeah, this guy's got his whole life ahead of him for that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the edge. Hey, how are you? Good. What's up? Uh, nothing. Um, I just want to talk to you. Is this uh, all right? Right here. Right? Yeah, dude. Never. What's your question? Oh, okay. So I've been talking to this chick for about two years now, right? Yeah. And I mean, it's not really going anywhere. Kind of. <laughs> for two, hold it, hold it. You've been talking to this chick for two years, and it's not going anywhere. Well, it's not two years, like a year, and then kind of stop. And then just got back on. And then it. another year? Yeah, and then Yeah, that's year. two years, man. Yeah, I, don't think, uh, <laughs> I don't think she's India. Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting for this call, brother. I'm happy yeah. you called. So yeah. you've been talking to her for two years off and on. Yeah. yeah. Like I kinda I like her. Well not kinda, I do like her, right? So I just don't know. I was just kinda what do you guys think I should do, you know? <laughs> Where is she? And how old are you? Yeah. How old am I? I'm mm-hmm. eighteen. Okay. Oh, started yeah. at 16. Yeah, <laughs> this is weird. Listen, well, you, you need to. School. Yeah, I get it. Because <laughs> yeah. you're 18. Um, yeah. here, here's here's what you need to do. I want you to, when when I'm done saying what I have to say, I want you to hang up the phone and take me deadly seriously. Yeah. Okay. I'm parking, so I'm deadly serious. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to forget about this girl. Yeah. You're 18 years old. You have many, many, very premium years of poontang ahead of you. Yeah. Okay. I want you to dust this girl because she doesn't like you. And I want yeah. you to go and meet girls in public, talk to them, hang out with them, go on dates with them, and experience a whole bunch more than just this one person you think you like. Because what happens when you're young is you get a starter wife or starter husband. Mm-hmm. Right? So you, yeah. you, you, you start out and you think it's what it is, but unless you date enough people... It's like if someone gave you one peach and you ate this one peach, you'd go, all peaches are good. Well, guess what? I've seen yeah. a bunch of really rotten ones. Yeah. And there's a whole bunch of better ones out there, too. You don't know unless you eat a bunch of peaches. So go eat a bunch of peaches with no hair. Love when yeah. it tastes <laughs> like peach. <laughs> yeah, no hair. Keep the hair out of there, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, dude, the only thing maybe you can do, though, if you like still think you like her in a few years whatever... 
Just make sure you like show up where she is with like a really hot chick or something. Then yeah. she might like kind of go, oh, this oh, guy's got a sweet move. He must be well hung or yeah, something. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. She's <laughs> hanging some beef down there. <laughs> beef and peaches, eh? <laughs> it's true though, right? If you just have the one yeah. peach and it's got a little fuzz on it, you go, yeah. oh, this isn't that bad. It's not yeah. a bad peach. Then you realize there's a bunch of un non mangled, no fuzz peaches out there that you could be eating. A lot of great peaches. Oh, not oh. good peaches. And you'll go, you're right, though. You'll go through some bad peaches. Yeah. yeah. Get a bad peach now yeah. and again. Yeah. Just try spit a, it out yeah. and try another one. Try a plum yeah. once in a while. <laughs> Dean Blundell Show. It's going to scar me for life and it's going to haunt me forever. Even at an old age. 102.1. I don't know how you put up with it. The Edge. The Edge. Hey, Lou. Morning. How's it going, guys? Good. What's up? Not a whole lot. So uh, I'm 18, too. And uh, I just got out of a pretty long relationship. <laughs> and uh, hey, hey, who? how long? How long is your relationship? Pardon? How long? How long was your relationship? Eight months, and it's not the worst. Like I dealt with that fine, but now I'm trying to put myself back out there, right? Dude, it's eight months, and you're 18. <laughs> There's no putting yourself back out no, there. No, you're, you're, you're always out there. No, I know, I know. I'm just hear me out. That's not my question. Don't worry. <laughs> so I, I've had a. Uh, I've hooked up with a couple girls since, but like they were more girls I know, so that was easy. And the other day, uh, at an event, I met a girl, I got her number, pretty cool chick, and I'm just wondering, like, how do you guys act when you get a girl's number? Like, what, what's the best way to keep a girl interested? Well, we were saying it yesterday, the best, like, a, a good way is two things, we think. Being direct and being humorous. And don't, don't play the games. All right. And if she's not in you, she won't be into you. There's nothing you, can, you can't control that. And the slow play you can try and do too, but but don't play the games. No, you're not. You, you, uh, yeah. Todd gives you good advice, but yeah. then he says don't do the slow play, which is a game too. Just yeah. all you got to do is 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 just t- if you like a girl, tell. It's very no. very simple. Very simple. If you like a girl, tell you like her. You want to take her out sometime. If she says no, say no problem. And if if you don't, it, if that doesn't work out, then you go to the next one and you I, say the same thing. Unfortunately, Odina, I think you're wrong in the fact that when when they're younger, you got to do a little bit. You can't be like so anxious that you text right. Like you actually have to do a bit not, of the. I'm slow not saying play. to be yeah. anxious. No, you don't have yeah. to do the slow play, and I'm not wrong. All you have to do is say, "Here's the deal." Uh, I like if you want to go out, we can go out. And if you don't feel like texting her that day or you got other stuff to do, go ahead and do it. Don't Todd's sort of right. Don't make a point don't, about it. Yeah. Don't mm-hmm. get overzealous. Just, just That's play it easy. Nice yeah. and easy. You don't, there, have, there. don't worry, but don't slow play. All right. All right. Good. And you're 18. Eight months is not a long relationship. <laughs> yeah, you got lots of time, bud. You were five when I got married. He was born in 1994. Five. Frig. Uh. What? You, 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 I'm chucking thinking of your marriage? Of the actual oh, no, I do? No, no. What are you, what are you, <laughs> high the edge. Hello? Uh, up chucking. No one says up chucking. It's <laughs> a great yeah, word. Yeah, I'm chucking. I love hey. that word. At the edge. Hello? Hey. Hey, how's it going? I called in a few minutes ago. And my phone cut out. Okay. Talking about uh, my girlfriend wanting the open relationship. Oh, yeah, boss. Yeah, um, yeah, we're both 21, 20, and, um, you know, it's, it's not really like she doesn't really need it, but it would be. She said it would be cool to do because we've been dating for about four years, and we've pretty much done everything in the book that we can do together. So she she's just starting to get not bored, but she just wants to explore a little more. Bored. We started dating when we were seventeen, and yeah, I, that's it. You know what? Yeah. This is you. Let her do it. Go do it. Let yeah. her do it, and you go do your thing too. I know you say you like her, but at this point, it's just. You're used to her. This is where people get mixed up with uh, my lover. Am I am I used to her? You guys are just used to each other because you've been together and you don't know anything else. Go go do some stuff. Yeah, too. so because she'll end up cheating because she <laughs> she obviously wants to experience other guys before she yeah. settles down for life. Big time. So just let her do it. And or then you girls, do, dude. Yeah. What if she wants to experience other girls? Friggin' sweet. Let yeah. her. Yeah. Let her do it. Think of it like an apprentice program. You go do an apprentice program for plumbing. Yeah, I don't think I don't want. I want to try something else. Young enough that you got to go try maybe electrician's apprentice program. She just wants to apprentice on her back. And you should go and apprentice on your front. Is that not good advice? Hmm? It's some people, oh, I've only been with the one woman my whole life. Oh, 18 years old. Oh. Stupid. You're dumb. You're dumb. It's tough to be with one person your whole life. I don't That's know. Why people That's, go tra- yeah. I don't know either. That's yeah, why people no, travel. <laughs> it is. That's why people travel. People travel for the same reasons. I'm going to go see the world. Go see the world of Poontang. 
It's true. You guys have tried maybe. Like Hi, the edge. Oh, yeah. Hey. She's just one. Tur- dude, happened? turn your radio down. Yeah, what happened? You guys, you come in the McDonald's joke or what? You, you're talking stupid about the people. What's that? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? Huh? You come find the ma- joke in McDonald's or what? Mazatlan? Joked about Mazatlan? I didn't understand no, what you said. No, huh? no. You can't find a joke in McDonald's. It's a chihuahua. Ah, or maybe you can't find a joke in Tim Hortons. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but I really like this guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't understand a goddamn word you're saying. Tim Hortons is hiring, you know? Why don't you go out and Do up your window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the chihuahua's gone. <laughs> I, I always understood the first part, but never the last. Yeah. Hi, the edge. <laughs> Brian has a suggestion on email. Hey, Dean, to keep chicks interested, just give them the tip. Keep it moist, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Just Hi, the a edge. tip? Make yeah. them want more? Yeah. Well, this, <laughs> this is Great all you sample. get. This is all you get. I think that's what that last caller just said. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. the tip. <laughs> just the tip. Girls love just the tip. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Hi, the edge. Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> hey, I'm up. He crapped himself before he spoke. Hi, yeah. the edge. Hey. How you doing, Diener? Good, bud. What's up? Good, good. I just want to know what happened to uh, Eduardo. And if you could play that clip, two. Four. It's four. And a beer? No, four <laughs> cans of beer and a horse. What, what is this? <laughs> Hi, the edge. What is thing ever? Hello. Hi. Hi, who's this? Uh, my name's Sarah. How are you? Good. How are you? Not too bad. Um, I actually love you guys. I listen all the time. Love and you. Call in and completely agree with the last few things you guys said about being honest and upfront. Um, and that guy who's what, 21 and has been in a relationship with 16, get out. Oh my mm. God, get out. That's crazy. You guys love each other. You think you know it. You love each other, but you don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's different, I, I think, for girls, too, because girls, women women traditionally grow up thinking that, uh, oh, man, I'm going to have a sweet wedding and the white dress and the party, and it's going to be about me. And guys think, oh, my best friends are going to be there. I'm going to have a killer stag. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I was actually in that situation, and I got out. And you're right about the honesty thing, because I've gone out on a couple days, done whatever, and I met this guy, and he was like, hey, uh, you're pretty awesome. I'm not looking for anything serious. Maybe we could just hook up. And I was like, you know what? Yes, that is a great idea. Thank you for being up front and not taking me out on dates and making me think you like me. Just being up front is amazing. Yeah, you got a great F buddy out of it, eh? That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. Wake up. Mornings. Wake up. On the edge. She's a good one, too. How long do you keep doing each specific position during coitus? <laughs> what do you do to kill the time between positions? You can't just keep talking dirty the whole time because you run out of stuff to say. Do you just keep going with whatever move you're on in relative silence? Sandwich in one hand while you keep your balance in the other? You know what I'm saying. What do I do? That's our buddy Raj. That was a good question, Raj. Um, hmm. I think, you know what I do? I, I would do, actually, if, if it were me. Not what I do, what I would do. Is between uh, positions, just smile. And give her a wink. A little tap. A little light tappage. And then start something else. You don't really have to say anything, do you? It just sort of happens. Is it good advice? Yeah, well, yeah. Kind of grin a little bit and yeah. say, do this now, baby. Or, or maybe she'll tell you what to do. Maybe she's all 50 shades of gray. Who knows? Yeah, like when she's like, let me get on it. Okay. Yeah. I'll fall. I'll lay on my no, back. Yeah, no, whatever. Cool, yeah. All I right. don't think there's any protocol. I think just do whatever you got to do. If you're with someone for a while, you tend to get into a protocol, though. Try and break that. That's yeah. the only thing I would suggest. <clears throat> Like uh, this, got to do doing this. You might want to try that. Yeah. Try something different. Don't even say it. Just try something different. So today we're going to do the praying mantis flying baloney position. You know what? My, my rule of thumb is to keep it exciting is it, when something can break. It's yeah. A good, it's a good sign. <laughs> like if, if potentially can something can break, yeah, yeah. whether it's a bone or a kitchen sink, like <laughs> yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Or a glass of wine next yeah. to the table yeah. and yeah. you kick it against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. You, that's good sex. something can break, you're yeah. fine. Dean, I'm 29 years old. I've been with my wife for 12 years. This is from Scott. We were pretty much still in love. Two kids, third on the way. Sex is great. Maybe not as frequent, but still great. I'm not fat, and she isn't either. We both are from and still live in a small town. I think we are the exception, but prove that it can happen. Your thoughts, Scott? Yeah, man, there's there's people like you out there. Boring-ass people like you out there. But yeah. 
<laughs> they don't complain, so you don't hear about them. Yeah, if you're happy, that's that. You know what? In the end of this, when everybody wants advice, they want advice for one reason because they want to be happy. Mm-hmm. And happiness comes in a variety of ways. It comes in excitement. It comes in in, in uh, security. It comes in all kinds of different things. But if you're happy, dude, you don't have to go out and start porking a whole bunch no, of other women. So, some people just like it to be uh, serene. Yeah. <laughs> Who's I, this? Who's serene? <laughs> I might tap Serene. Great tennis player. Oh, yeah. Serena. Wait, <laughs> yeah. Looks like a dude. Yeah. I can't. You know, Wimbledon yeah. starts today. I yes, think? it does. I I can't watch the women's tennis. I don't know what it is, but generally, female tennis players are just swamp donkeys. Well, there's a couple. Like of most these, of the yeah. Italian chicks are swamp donkeys. Yeah. There's a couple of like bad-looking Lithuanian chicks. I mean. Martina Hingis was never good looking. She looked like a beaver that had been punched in the nose. <laughs> Even her last name's disgusting. Hingis. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, yeah. Translation. Pig. Hingis. Yeah. <laughs> Swamp donkey. <laughs> no, and I, I, um, I, a lot of these, like, the, I always call them the Ova girls. Although, are, like, any, generally women with the last name Ova, for some reason, are smoking hot. Although Martina Navratilova did not fit that bill. That yeah. dude was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I could not understand what that old man was saying. <laughs> uh, hey, Dean, I'm hoping you could shed some light. I'm a young met guy, 23 to be exact. I have a great paying job. Uh, union benefits. Been uh, beating the hell out of myself emotionally for quite some time, though. Been with the same girl since I was 16. we got two kids. Uh, three and a newborn lately been wanting experience uh, being with other women. I've never been with anyone else, and I thought that I thought that just keeps eating away at me. The sex between me and my girlfriend slash wife has always been great from what I know anyway. Uh. See, this is the thing. You eat the one peach, yeah. and someone goes, hey, look at this. It's a fresh peach over here. You might want to try this other peach. <laughs> women, same way. Go eat some peaches. Take pictures. Send them to me. <laughs> Sweet. Some big peaches. Yeah, little peaches. Peaches, peaches with stuff hanging out. Of pumped it. with juice. Yeah. <laughs> juice pump peaches. Ah, <laughs> uh, gee, the juice pump peach. <laughs> um, this is a great question. I'm going crazy trying to figure out if I should stay with her or leave her, but I'm staying around for my kids so they can have a mom and dad under the same roof. I'm uh, the main income in the apartment we rent. <laughs> There's a picture. I feel like I'd be a failure to my kids if I try and leave and find myself to come to the point where I'm questioning my own happiness. Anyway, I hope you can throw some advice my way via email or something. Thanks, Dean. P.S. If you decide to read this on the air, just disclose my name. Oh, did you? I'm not even going to disclose his name. Okay, good. I wouldn't do that to the guy. What is it? All right, Barry. Here's the deal. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Go yeah, Stop it, Barry. Barry Fairsley. Here's your uh, <laughs> here's your advice, Barry Fairsley. Um, the truth is, uh, Barry, and I, I, I'm I'm a big fan of. If you're gonna change your life, you better know what you're changing it into. This is what I did. So, if you feel like you need to go and experience something else. My advice is to disc- This is terrible advice, but it's my advice. <laughs> You know, discreetly do it if you're not hurting anybody, and 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 uh, you. And I don't mean go and start porking other women. I mean, you know, if you if you if you love your girlfriend, that's all you know. Go and talk to other women. See if you might be interested in other women. If you are, then go home and talk talk to your wife and say, hey, this is the deal. I'm getting a hankering for some other pie, or peaches. Peach pie. It's peach pie. Yeah, and I just say. Do you know what I mean? Cheat. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a nice way to no. say it. But if you listen, if you have to go and. Um, I got an idea. Well, I'll yeah. call Dave. You know what you could do? What's out there? Yeah, you, you go and you and you collect a bunch of bills in your wallet, and you go downtown and you get yourself a, a nice medium priced haul. <laughs> <laughs> medium price? What's a medium yeah. price for uh, you? You know, not quite high price, not quite low price. You know, you get what you get. Well, how much? I don't know. What was five bucks get you these days? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much. It would be Her- funny to... Probably herpes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Uncle D, uh, it would be interesting to find out the inflation of, of whores over the day. Yeah, I, I'll look into that. Because <laughs> they, they're, they're at least up to $15 now, aren't they, for a good night out? <laughs> <laughs> so go get a medium-priced girl. Yeah. And, and then what? Well, then you, you find out if, if you're missing anything. And if you are, then you stick to her. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> You're sticking to her. <laughs> it's true. 
<laughs> might not be the medium priced whore you yeah. want. Okay. I would have thought you got a medium oh, priced whore. You really good. got like a cheap whore. I thought that was a good thing. Yeah. You're sticking to her when you're done. <laughs> like fly paper. <laughs> 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 Hi, the edge. Hey, I called yesterday. I was the last caller about uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, listen, I got cut off. I'm in Hamilton, so I got cut off coming up the escarpment. You guys had asked me details. Yeah. And just as I got ready, I got cut off. Listen, I don't have a lot of time because I'm going to get cut off again, but I just want to say during that episode, we knocked shit off the table. Uh, she she's been saying she, during sex that you can't say at, you can't say the s word. Otherwise, we won't be able to. You'll have to take it all out. So oh, no problem, no problem. Yeah. So she's been going nuts since that book. She's been doing all kinds of stuff. See, I don't buy it. I, then then she's easily swayed. You should get it's, rid of her. Yeah. It's, it's Hi, the too edge. bad. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? Really Good. What's bad. up? <laughs> uh, nothing. I just uh, wanted to share a little story with y'all. Okay, y'all. My yeah. friend. Uh, my friend uh, blamed me for bringing a girl over his house, and he ended up uh, getting together with her, and now she's uh, harassing me and my wife on Facebook, wanted to know what I should do. First of all, sir, your biggest problem is you're on Facebook. Get off Facebook. Facebook is the scourge of the earth. It's so gay. If you didn't have Facebook, she wouldn't be harassing anybody. She'd just be being stupid, being on Facebook, harassing nobody. So that's all you have to do. Who cares? Who cares what anybody says in the virtual world? I really don't. Like, if, if she's so... The only thing more retarded than arguing on the internet is actually being retarded. Yeah, she put her, herself as a fake name. And she, she lives in Los Angeles, but the information that she has... She, she gave herself a fake her. name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, right? Get off Facebook, like, man. Yeah. Facebook is yeah, terrible. That's, that's all you got to do. Tell you and your wife to get off Facebook. You don't need it. You know how many people I've turned on to getting off of Facebook that have thanked me? <laughs> Eight at least. Honest to God, yeah. hundreds. That's good, man. And got, got rid of it. Uh, the ex-girlfriend's harassing me. Best decision I ever made. I've got a stress-free life. I don't have to worry about who's saying what and damaging my reputation on my own Facebook site. It hurt their entire IPO, your advice. Big time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> High the edge. Hello? Hey. Hi, I uh, just had a question for you guys. Yeah. All right, well, um, uh, turn your radio down first because this is very confusing. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Well, uh, I thought my girlfriend was cheating on me. Then, um, so I went out with my boys and I did my own thing and I cheated on her. But if it seems that she didn't cheat on me, my friends are just lying and <laughs> a prank on me. Yeah. So should I tell her? Or? No. Deny, Don't. deny, deny. Refresh my memory. What was he saying? Okay, basically saying <laughs> he, his, friends, what he his said. friends told him that his girlfriend cheated on him. So he's like, okay, eye for an eye. I'm going to cheat on her. Then he found out it was just a prank. His girlfriend didn't. His friends lied. His girlfriend never and cheated. And he already cheated? Yeah, so he's like, should he tell her? No, nah, just don't tell her. Yeah, well, just because, like, I cheat on her, too, because she's, she's like, she's a redhead, and like, she's so she's so bitchy. So <laughs> <laughs> I cheated on her because she's a redhead. <laughs> because she's a redhead, because she's just so bitchy sometimes. Like, Dude, yeah. you got bigger problems than her being a redhead. You don't a you don't trust her. B uh, you went out and cheated on her because you heard she cheated on you. Yeah. And uh, C um, you, you you think that she's bitchy because her head's re- her head's red. It sounds like you don't want to be with her, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes she just bitches at me for everything. Sometimes for. How old are you? I can't imagine. I wear MMA clothes sometimes. She bitches at me for oh, that. Oh, I'd bitch at you yeah, too, dude. She is the right for that. Yeah, dude. big time. Those are pretty douchey clothes. <laughs> well, I'm Italian, so. <laughs> <laughs> you nothing to do with it. <laughs> what? That's why. What's that? I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It doesn't mean after you don't see like uh, you know Kobe Armstrong wearing his Leaf jersey after the game. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't see JP and Ricky going yeah. after the bar with their jerseys on. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. Mornings. It's so crazy. On the edge. In his own right, uh, it has achieved a lot, including being the commissioner now of the Canadian Football League, and he joins us, Mark Kohan. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank nice you. to see you. Good to be here. <clears throat> You're look at him. He's a good-looking guy. Take after mom. Do you, do you look more <laughs> like your mom or your dad? <laughs> do you look more like uh, your mom or dad? I think probably my mom. Yeah? You know, dad, my dad's size, my mom's face. Does your dad still, like, give you advice? You know, how old's your dad now? Is he... He's seven, just turned 75. Just turned 75, and, and you're in your 40s? 
I am 46. You're 46, and and you're the commissioner of, of a professional sports league. Yeah. Does I mean, your dad ever give you advice or crap or tell yeah, you you're doing he, something wrong? He's saying you're going on the Dean Bundell show. He said, don't go on that show. <laughs> 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 no, uh, no, he always gives me advice. We talk all the time. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's giving me advice over the over my career. You know, when I'm not having fun with the job, he said, you know, you got to follow your passion, what you love, and. And that led me to the CFL. You know, yeah. I loved sports growing up. I had been in sports for a long, long time at Major League Baseball and the NBA. I sort of left for a while. And he's been a great champion so, uh, mm-hmm. of me, and I, and I love it. As I told you off, off the air, you know, he's always known as George Cohan, George Cohan, founder of McDonald's, and now he calls himself the father of the commish. So. Oh, does he? Yeah. yeah. That's so. cool. Tables have turned, huh? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so um, now I was in your dad's office uh, a number of years ago just doing a tour, and, and I was in his office, and the only, the only thing, the only, he's got so many pictures of some historic moments with Gorbachev and all these guys. The only thing that outnumbers his pictures with dignitaries are pictures with his family on family trips on uh, cruises and everybody's you guys have a very close family we do we we get along really well but like every family we we fight when we when like like every family but yeah. we we are a very close family we travel all the time together and you still travel together yeah we do yeah do you really we went uh you know we uh my parents have a home down in florida went down there my brother my dad and i my dad has a small boat we're gonna you know try and take it to the the bahamas uh in, well after gray cup clearly after gray cup <laughs> it uh, must be a small boat you can't get to the bahamas no, on no, a small yeah. boat no Mark. no, no. <laughs> It's a, it's a canoe. Uh, no. <laughs> and uh, it is. It's a big kayak. <laughs> He's adventurous. Uh, Mark Cohan, our guest. He's the commissioner of the uh, Canadian Football League. Uh, your league sets to start this year. And I was interested. Derek is a, I don't know if you know this, Derek Wellsman is one of the biggest CFL fans in the world. I was driving down here and I heard, you know, you were testing him, 98 Grey Cup. Calgary I can't Champions. believe I even yeah. remembered that, yeah, to be I mean, honest that was with pretty you. amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Pretty amazing. So I'm, I'm quite impressed. Oh, but and he's blind to boot. I don't know I, if you know that. I know, so it wasn't like he was checking Reading. out. No, yeah. no, I can't cheat with these things. That's pretty small printing. He did it, leave yeah. like smears all yeah, over the cup. Yeah, nose yeah. prints. <laughs> yeah. what, nose what are, prints. How long have you been the commissioner for? Well, I just finished my, my first term of five years, so I'm going to my sixth year. It's are you really? Flies. And, and, and do you still enjoy it? I love it. That's why I renewed. What's what's new? What's new in the CFL, and what are you doing to change the CFL in terms of reputation, competitiveness? Because it's it. I was surprised to learn from from uh, Derek that you, you know so these games, like the the Argo games, you get thirty to 25, 30,000 people out to these games. Yeah. Like it's it's a viable sport. You know, we had two million people come through our turnstiles last year. Average attendance in the league was twenty eight thousand. Mm. That is fourth in North America in terms of average attendance wow. in the league, which, yeah. is, which is pretty. It's like I think seventh in the world. It's, well, it's pretty it's, pretty amazing. It's like more than J games now yeah i mean yeah. Uh, if you think about it you know listen you go out to regina you go out to edmonton you go to bc you know in the, in those marks in bc you'll have 40 45 thousand people out to a game you know the owls have had you know they had a they had a uninter- un- uninterrupted streak of 108 sellouts you know uh, leading up into last season so it's pretty amazing but you know we have a, over a billion dollars in new stadiums being built winnipeg Hamilton, Ottawa's on the way, you mm-hmm. know, pretty close uh, to trying to get a deal done in Regina as well. Uh, you well know, let's get rid of Taylor Field, which you, if you haven't been there, it's a piece of history. It's actually cool. It's very cool. And this year they've even expanded it because next year's the Grey it. Cups there. And uh, they put about $15 million in it just temporarily mm-hmm. and brought in about uh, 15,000, I think, more seats and mm-hmm. some sky boxes. So it's pretty unbelievable what's going on right now. And <laughs> You, know, you talk about competition. You know, last year, fifty percent of our games were decided in the last three minutes. You're kidding? No, I mean, any commissioner would love that. Yeah, we had five teams vying for first place in the last week of the season last year. So that parity is is pretty strong. So any any uh, any word on whether or not they're going to get a franchise out east? Because I know there's lots of stuff. There's really not much going on out there, and I know they would love a CFL team. Well, you know, last two years, we from the first time in the history of the league, we did regular season games out yeah. there. We brought the Argos to play, and we brought the Tiger Cats to play over the last two years, and it was unbelievable experience in Moncton. You know, Moncton is a great little entertainment town. You know, when the Rolling Stones do their tours in North America, the biggest show is in Moncton, you know, up in Magnetic Hill. They get 80, mm-hmm. 90,000 people out to it. So they pull from all over. But Most but, of them think it's just Great Big C again. Who's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy? That's that guy's got big lips, eh? Uh, <laughs> uh, and, uh, 
How's the tailgating over there? I oh imagine God. that would be awesome. Yeah, I will yeah. tell you, I've yeah. been in sports for 20 years. You've never been <laughs> so wasted as when you went up there to tailgate. I had the most fun in Moncton <laughs> yeah. I, I've ever had. I had my stag in St. John's, actually. Did you really? Yeah, because I used to live, I, I worked for the NBA, and I, you know, li- I lived in New York, and I lived in London, England. I said, where's the halfway point? Let's go to St. John's. So, <laughs> all my buddy, I probably should have gone to Iceland. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, but I had a, had a great time there, but that's that's a different story. Sure, when I'm no yeah. longer, when I'm no longer a commissioner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't see your exploits on TMZ. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, did, but you go, any but plans? Moncton, on- but Moncton, you know, it was great. It was it was amazing out there. You know, we, we had 21,000 people in the stands, sold yeah. out, essentially. But the problem is the stadium is too small there. So if we're really going to expand out there, you have to put about 80 or 90 million into expanding that stadium. Yeah. We'll probably keep on doing some of these events out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, this train tour, which, which we just announced, is going to go to Moncton, go to to Halifax and really, you know, celebrate fans out yeah, there. Yeah, tell us about that real quick. What, what's the train tour, the CFL Grey Cup train tour? It, it's amazing. We just announced it today. It's going to be three months, a CFL branded train that's really taking this Grey Cup across the country. Yeah. You know, the history of this country was built on the back of the railway. Mm-hmm. The Grey Cup is a Canadian icon. Let's marry the two. So we're going to about 100 different communities starting in, in Vancouver uh, in the fall and September and literally traveling across the country and then looping our way back to southern Ontario. Uh, looking to try and fly it up north as well. So it's really going to try and touch about 100 communities. That's crazy. Good for you guys. Yeah. Can, how how can, pe- can people get involved, or is it just a destination thing? No, I mean, we're going to stop. We have whistle stops in all these towns. You can come touch the cup. You just can't raise it over your head. If, now, if you've won, the, the rule is, I don't know if these guys told you, if you've won the Grey Cup, you're allowed yeah. to lift it over your head. If you haven't, you know, you got to keep it below. So you've never yeah. even lifted above no, your head. I have not. I no. just always present it. That's what but you know, it's interesting is the guys who brought it were lifting it over their head just before you got here. Yeah, they, yeah. they were going, they no. said, he will <laughs> never see it. Is it, is it yeah. nice to be yeah. one of the only commissioners of the league when you do present it not to get booed? Because yeah. that happens yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually uh, very fortunate. Yeah. I, I get along with our fans because yeah. they know I love the game. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. and, and it's you know what it's been fascinating to uh, to to see uh, the CFL go through all the transitions gone through. You know, I don't know if you know this, but don't put any teams in the states. Right? No, we will not do that. <laughs> <laughs> we will not do that. Our, our focus, but you know, we're we're soon in about a week or two. We're going to announce a big television deal to get the Grey Cup on in, in the states, and we'll get about a uh, you know a dozen games on uh, in the states. So it's great for us to get exposure. Yeah. Half our team, you know, half our, of our of our players are from the U.S. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, listen, we appreciate you coming in, Commissioner of the CFL, Mark Cole. Uh, don't forget uh, the the where can people go for information on the Grey Cup train? Uh, yeah, well, you can go to cfl.ca mm-hmm. uh, and check out all the information. But it's going to be great fun, and then obviously the Grey Cup here, November twenty fifth, is going to be probably the biggest party in this country has had. It's sold in a long, out long yesterday. Time. It's oh, it's already out. sold out. Yeah. It's okay. already sold out. But you can it, can ten, you get us some tickets on the? Can you get? Let's see. I want to hear what you guys say after yeah. I get off. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I, I, no, you I, better I, listen for a while. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We usually wait two days to harsh <laughs> people. Yeah. Yeah. The Dean Blundell Show. What happened? Mornings. On the edge. Hi, the edge. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> it's going. It's going. She's going, is she? She's going there, bud. Where are you calling from there, bud? Uh, Brampton. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with you? So, I play on a hockey team with a bunch of my friends. And you know how on most men's leagues, there's always like one guy that will walk around naked? Okay. Yeah, it's a good point, actually. Yeah. That. <laughs> so well, weird. That's, I'm that guy in our team. <laughs> yeah. So um, I needed a uh, sharpening stone before the game. So I asked my friend, all right, you got one? And he says, yeah, I go over to grab it, all right? And I started sharpening my skate right in front of him. And he's like, get the hell out of here. And he gives me a push. I trip back over his bag. And my skate goes right across the head of my penis. Mm, sir. What? Oh. Sir, sir, right. Are you kidding me? No, man. I got like three stitches right across. It. Oh. oh. It's a good thing you didn't use the stone first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got three stitches on your dong from getting a cut with the skate. That's a good start to this contest today. Hi, the edge. Hello. Hi. Hey, what's going on, boys? What's up? Hey, go to the go. Just plugging away at work here. Right on, man. Where are you calling from? Uh, hey, Jack. The Jacks. The Jacks. What's wrong Me with you? Jackson. Um, well, uh, back in high school, uh, not so much what's wrong with me, it's what scarred me. Um, uh, I had this chick in my class who was sitting behind me, and I told her to come to one of our little parties that we had, and, uh, sure enough, she did come. Uh, one thing led to another. I was, I was a mangled mess. And a little backstory, I was a little bit of a mama's boy, and, uh, my mom had always bought my clothes for me and stuff, so it was my first time ever buying my own pair of socks. 
I didn't it's know they crazy. Come, <laughs> I didn't know they come in different sizes, so I bought like size 16. How old are you? Me, 28. How old were you when this? You didn't know that socks came in different sizes. Seventeen. That's sweet. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> All right. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think he admits to it too. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't say I was the brightest crane in the box at the time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so uh, I'm at a party. One thing led to another. I'm wearing these size sixteen socks that come up to my probably past my knees, right? And I'm wearing a beater, and I look just right haggard. And uh, anyways, she goes down on me. The chick's a little bit heftier. And, There's uh, a bigger girl, you said. Yeah, yeah, that's you. So she gets down, starts doing her business, yeah. yeah. Did you say this, or did you go, do it? Seriously, do it. Oh, yeah. There's something to that effect, yeah. That's <laughs> Anyways, crazy. Uh, <laughs> my buddy uh, must have uh, got the bird idea. He jumps in, snags a photo, but my face is priceless in this. I'm leaned over, I'm cross eyed with these uh, knee high socks. There was this, with this uh, heavy chick giving me a hummer. Anyway, it's Monday, crazy. Monday rolls around, and uh, sure enough, that picture's on every single post. Oh! You didn't care, did you, really? No. 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 Painful. That's enough, stick. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> the edge. Hello. Hey, dude. How are you guys? Good. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jamie. Do it. Seriously, do it. What's wrong with you? Well, I mean, it's more like a what happened, but last weekend I was at my girlfriend's cottage and her little brother tried to rape me. How old is the little brother? I think he's 22. Oh, and he tried to get on top of you? Well, I was. The, the story was we were all partying the night before. I mean, a, a bunch of friends or family was there. You know, first of all, let me point out this could be one of the most awkward. Pro- if I could imagine a very oh, awkward yeah. position to be in in a cottage oh, yeah. with my girlfriend and her family, <laughs> is oh, her yeah. brother doing the Vince Vaughn from that from that movie Wedding Crash? Uh, you know, the guy that tried to hump Vince Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even think about that, but it's just like that. <laughs> His name was Todd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His name was. Todd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we were just hammered the night before, and, every, and they're pretty churchy, so on Sunday they got up to all go to church. I was too messed up, so I stayed home. I woke up, and, and, and you know, he was on top of me trying to get his hand down. It was, a, it was a kind of a... Are you serious? Really? I'm very, I'm it's very exactly serious, like the I'm movie. It's crazy. I've been, I've been dating her for about a year and a half now, and her brother's always been a little fruity to me, but he never really came out or anything, and he always gives me these weird, hungry eyes, and it never really turned into anything until this or last weekend, and it was, it was pretty messed up, man. He's, he, he yearns for you like a bird yearns <laughs> for a worm from the mouth of its mother. Evidently With a yearning, needless. he probably had a very yearning mouth when he was on top of you, didn't he? <laughs> Did he try, was he on top of your back or your front? I was living on my back. He was like kneeling at my at my knees. Did on you say? Oh my god! Did you? Oh, did you say anything to uh, your girlfriend? Yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't yet. It's kind of a tough situation. You should probably tell her right now. You should tell yeah, her right now on the so, air. Right? Yeah, tell her. What's your name? Can't do that, shit. Come on! Do that. No way! I'll, I'll, I'll promise you, I'll tell her, but I can't do it like that. Do it, seriously, do it. Do it. <laughs> you have any cottage trips planned in this, this summer? You, it's a long weekend, bud. Uh, if I were you, I'd get it out there as soon as you can, just so he doesn't try and slip you the old yeah. stiff one eye when you go camping. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Ain't nobody got time for that. I, I attempted. Attempted rape wins That's every time. pretty right. crazy. Yeah, you win. The, Congratulations. Yeah. You're a winner on the Dean Wondell Show. Yay! It's crazy. <laughs> so what did you do to get him off? I, I just, I freaked him. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, it was pretty dramatic. Just as short of punching him as upside the head, you know, and it was it. You know, I haven't talked to him since, and I, and I plan to never speak with him again. Yeah, we're going to see him at family functions. I'm going to avoid all those functions at all costs. You have you know? to tell her, dude. You got to tell her. You don't have a choice. You got to tell her. Tell her. Tell his dad. Do it. Seriously. Oh, do it. That'd be pretty cold, but you know, someone's got to hear about this shit. You have to. You got to tell. Telling the dad is like an end run, though. That's like what you <laughs> do to So why don't you go and have you talked to him since? No, no, absolutely not. Oh, dude, you got to go. T- you got to tell your girlfriend. Tell your Would girlfriend you? to talk to him. And t- you, well, because uh, you can't, you can't, if you're going to marry her or tell, be with yeah. her for a long time, if you're going to marry her or be with her for a long time, you, you, you cannot have a guy that tried to oh, rape no. you keep looking at you over the turkey dinner Unless. at Christmas. I know. What's I know. The, the problem is, is that, like I said, you know, I've known him for a while. He's always mm-hmm. been a nice kid. It's just 
I, I just don't want to. I don't want to wreck his life. Unless uh, uh, maybe it wasn't as bad as maybe. Yeah, I think sounds you liked to it. us. Yeah. What did you say? You <laughs> liked you, it. You liked it. You did. Yeah, you you probably you yeah, probably you probably like when he's reaching down around your pants. You probably went. Oh, there's more change underneath. I, I feel like Look hiring more a male prostitute to come and do that shit to you guys just so I can uh, call it and say you both liked it because that is crazy. I know it's crazy, I, I, but you got to tell your girl if it's, you're that. See, this is stupid. If you're that uncomfortable with a guy, you got to go tell your girlfriend. Seriously, who had softer hands, though, buddy? Who had softer yeah, hands? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show on one hundred two point one, The Edge. On the Edge. Hello. Hello. Hey. Oh, good Yeah. How are you doing? Good. What's up? Well, that lasted a long time. It's a boring to you on uh, what's wrong with you with the beach and the picture in the socks. Yeah, go ahead. I just want to let you know I went to school with that kid, too. Okay. Uh, my name's James Lowry. And uh, <laughs> eight and a half by 11 full-color prints went around that school, people asking her for autographs. And she was this big pig of a girl, too. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's Aww. me. That's just me. That's me. This is the dude that called yeah. in for what's wrong with you. We didn't let him win because um, his friends took a picture of him with a larger girl giving him some face love. And then uh, they posted around the school. That's that's it's just illegal, nasty. actually. It's it actually is. illegal. That's, that's totally. kind of bullying, too, actually. Yeah, I don't like to hear that story. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing knee highs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At the edge. Hello. Hey. Hey, what's up? What's up, brother? <laughs> Nothing. Um, so I have a question. Uh, basically, whenever I really, really like a girl, I mean, like, some of the hottest girls, too. As soon as I'm with them, That's I'm relative. completely uninterested. As soon as you have sex with them? Oh, well, yeah, after I have sex with yeah, them. Yeah, because mentally they're not challenging you, no. dude. No, you, you, uh, because it's not, you're not looking for a relationship. You're looking... The hunt is better be, than the catch. Know. No, you're, you're not. You're not looking for a relationship. You're looking to be an alpha dog. Well, you, know, yeah. you know what that is? Well, yeah. What is it? <laughs> an alpha dog is somebody who's always on top, right? Yeah. No, that's yeah. all, that's all you want to do. You just want to kind of come out on top. Dude, I went, I, yeah, I went through that for years, where it was just like, okay, I got their number. I didn't even need them. Like once you knew, you, you, you once you accomplished what what, <laughs> well, it's yeah, just too easy. <laughs> it loses interest to the point where, like, like if I even have a girlfriend, if I start dating them after two and three times having sex, I, I can't even finish anymore. Like I have to make up excuses and stuff. It's just terrible. Well, well that's weird. the other thing is, you probably haven't found it. It is weird. It probably yeah. haven't found anybody that turns you crank enough. How old are you? No, oh, I'm 27. Yeah, you probably just haven't found anybody that turns you crank enough, or something happened to you when you were a kid you don't want to talk about. Actually, no, that's the thing. Like, I nothing's ever happened to me. Try dudes. Yeah. Try dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I would never put you, you over the top. Are you sexually attracted to men at all? No, see, I'm not. And if I would have been, like, I would have definitely taken the opportunity yeah. right now. But you know, sure I, you would. I don't know. The alpha dog in, uh, in, 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 in the gay community is, uh, is the pitcher, right? <laughs> yeah, I think it's Smitherman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the leader. <laughs> um, no, oh, you know what, dude? I, I think it's just a matter of two things. One is, is that uh, you're you're probably uh, do you have an addictive personality? No, you don't. No. No, this is how it what manifests itself. Then is it you? You know, you you don't have you. You probably have a good job, good career. I'm doing okay. Pretty responsible yeah. guy. Uh, I wouldn't say that. No, you have a good relationship <laughs> with your mom. Uh, well, no. There I you go. Uh -huh. yeah. ah. oh, you're afraid of getting That's... close because oh, you're afraid yeah. of getting you're hurt. What happened with your mom? What happened with your mom? She, uh, she died three years ago. There you go. Yeah. Here's okay. a pro dude. And but it was before that, though. Too, you didn't right? have a good relationship with her before, right? I never really had a good relationship with mm. my parents. Yeah, you're afraid of getting really close, does. bro. <laughs> so explain, explain it. What, what was wrong with your, for your parents? Oh, nothing. They just, you know, they just didn't really care. I was the middle child, classic middle child syndrome, like, they just didn't really care what I did ever from when I was, like, 14. Did you and your like mom fight all the time? Brother. Sorry? You and your mom scrap all the time? No, no. She was really little. Like, I'm, like, 6'3". No. She was, like, 5 feet No, I mean, wrestling. did you argue? Did you disagree? <laughs> Who actually scraps their mom like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Do you no, dis well, did you yeah, disagree a lot? Disagree. Yeah, yeah, we didn't see eye to eye. Yeah, really. well, do, no. this is the problem. <clears throat> First of all, you, you equate your relationship now with your mom because she's the alpha woman in your life and she was that example. And so now you're afraid to get close to anybody and Tom is right because you, you don't want to be disappointed like you were disappointed with your relationship with your mom. It, and with that being said, though, yeah. as serious as that sounds, it is weird that you can't, after three times, complete it. Yeah, like I, how, I find that really weird. How many weird. times did you have sex with your mom? <laughs> oh. Human. <laughs> no, that's all, dude. All you got to do is just hang in there and trust yourself. And put some work into it. Really, 
And if yeah, you like her, you like her. And if you don't, now. you don't. Well, like, I've been in a relationship now. Like, I'm living with her now, right? And, like, I do love her. And, but, you know, sometimes, man, just ugh. <laughs> just to bring myself to, to actually just want to. He sometimes. thinks of his mom. <laughs> it's hard to do. <laughs> but when you're, when you're, having, uh, when you're hammering like, away and all you see is, Why don't you go make your bed? Clean your room up. <laughs> oh, that's all you got to do. Not bad, eh? Bad relationship with a mom. I figured that out in, like, two seconds. I have, if you've had enough counseling in your whole life, you start to use it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, The Edge. Hey. Hey, The Edge. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's shaking? Nothing. Uh, what, I, I had a girl come up to me in the bar the other day, and she uh, she asked me what's the strongest muscle in in, uh, in her mouth. And you said <laughs> yours. <laughs> Dang, it's awesome. That's great. Hey, one. The Edge. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, is this Dean? Yeah. Dean, I, was, I heard your Greg Carrasco impression yesterday. That was pretty hilarious. I was hoping maybe you could do a Greg Carrasco selling a car to Rob Ford. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you know what? I got to tell you something. If you haven't spent time with Greg Carrasco, and I'm not kidding you, and he's, I know him now, he is. He could be one of the fun. Did you know he was in the Chilean army and he shot rockets? I, I Are swear, you allowed I, disclosing that? I, yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's, and, and, he's, and dude, w- the easily, easily the most honest guy you've ever met. Honest to a fault. I blew up every other car that was not a Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, Infinity. Yeah, yeah. Hi, this is Greg Carrasco. Have you ever been hit with an RPG? <laughs> <laughs> he's honestly one of the funniest guys ever. And smart. Yeah. I'd like to have him. You know, we yeah. had Saul Corman on the show. I know yeah. they're advertisers, but who cares? If I find someone interesting, I like to talk to him. Well, I'd love to talk They're compelling to him. people. That's yeah. why. Yeah. yeah. Greg is a classic. Just a beauty. Every day I CrossFit. Every day. <laughs> Shows me. Look at this picture of me lifting up this weight. <laughs> you like it? I'm like, yeah, I love it, Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> He's a beauty. Hi, The Edge. And honest to God, I wouldn't trust, I wouldn't buy a car from anybody else, and that's the truth. Because I don't like hey, this dishonest this, people. Yeah, go ahead. Is this uh, Diener? Yeah. Sure, buddy. Oh, yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, okay. Buddy. Here you go. Sure, okay. buddy. What's shaking? Oh, well, you just wanted, wanted to, to say that. that. Okay. Sure, buddy. I like sure, that, buddy. Yeah. Hey, The Edge. Hey, what's up? Hey. I'm just calling to ask for a question about uh, awkward moments. Yeah. Is it normal if a woman like st- wants you to have a finger stick up her ass? Or like your ass? <laughs> yeah. Whose ass? Is it your ass or her ass? Uh, it could be mine. Okay. It could be her. It's, yeah, it's as normal as it's you want it to be. Very normal, bud. Yeah. It's as normal as you want it to be. Is that safe to say? It's If you like it and you're comfortable with it and she likes it and she's comfortable with it, that is normal. Yeah. yeah. Do what you got to do. Hey, The Edge. Hey, Dean. Yeah, man. Um, I was wondering if I could ask uh, Todd a quick, well, tell Todd a quick joke and then ask Eric a quick question. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Todd, it's a, it's a more of a poop joke for you to use. A what joke to use? Is that how you use your poop jokes when you go to... Uh, in no, oh, no, no, those aren't Todd's. They're Dean's They're jokes. Mine. Well, yeah. Okay, okay, well then I want to ask uh, Uncle Dean, what do you think of the weather? Uh, I don't know if this is a jukebox know. this morning. Yeah, Are we doing a jukebox? I don't, I don't want to do a jukebox. No, no jukebox questions. By the edge. Mother Nature's a whore. Millions of beaches. Beaches for free. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Frankie McDonald would sing that stuff? Yeah, yeah. The Gene Lindo Song. On 102.1. The Edge. Hey, the Edge. Hey, how you doing? Good, boss. Yeah, I was uh, calling about your awkward male question. Mm-hmm. What is an unhealthy amount to be jerking it i think if it gets in the way of you living your life i don't think physically there's only one thing you can really do to it uh and that's burst blood vessels in it <laughs> yeah but you can't you can't hurt your but if you do it to like help control anxiety and stuff it's actually not a bad thing like if it relaxes you a little bit what do you mean like before it's you encouraged. go to a big meeting you go snap one off? yeah dude anywhere <laughs> Or Are if it serious? helps you sleep or if it helps you just before a big date and t-bone yeah i'm dude they encourage it and when I say they, I mean like you know we've had some sex they. therapists on the show before, and and so and, you, and, you get a big hockey yeah. game and you're in the dressing room and you're nervous because it's the finals, your men's rec league. Yeah, you tell me you go snap one off, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, man. <laughs> Hi, the edge. How's it going, guys? Good. Uh, I was just wondering. So I met up with this girl I haven't seen in a while. Sunday, we're having a few drinks. We get talking about relationships. She's saying how she pretty much just doesn't want one. She just wants to have one night stands and that. Then she asked me for my number and wants to get drinks this weekend. Am I wrong thinking she wants it? 
So you're halfway there? <laughs> so I'm not wrong, though. I like, she does want it, right? Yeah. All righty. Dude, if she said that all she wants to do is have a one-night stand and then she asks you to go for drinks, you know exactly what's yeah. going to happen. I was just making sure I didn't make an ass out of myself. No, no, that's you fair. Go, go there and treat yeah. it like it is, though. Like, this is the thing. If you go there and treat it like it could be a relationship, then, then she'll just get turned off. Or uh-huh. here's the other thing, T-Bone, and maybe you could tell. It might be a clever ruse to get into a relationship oh, on her part. Oh, interesting. So yeah. she's, she's appealing to his one-night yeah. stand nature, and, and she yeah. has no intentions of the one-night stand. She, she wants to screw him into a relationship. Oh. Interesting. Well, be upfront and honest with her, depending on what you want. But don't, don't be. It doesn't give you an excuse to be a dick. Like, so you still be a nice guy. It doesn't mean it has to lead to a relationship. But no, no dude, you'll, you're... Uh, You'll, you'll be sharing some stories to your friends the next day, for sure. Yeah. And then yeah. getting him to smell your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, The Edge. Hi, how are you? Good. What's your name? James. What's up? Um, well, this is actually a question for you, Diener. Yeah, but uh, I'm planning, well, actually, in the near future, I'm going to get a vasectomy, but I've been thinking about getting the weeder blanket removed and a sack tuck, and I'm wondering, if you, in your opinion, if you think it's worth it? You're going to have to back up a bit. The weeder blanket removal means circumcision? Yeah. And the, and the yeah. sack tuck means you have a really long set of nuts and you're thinking of getting yanked up a bit and then what, 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 like, what, like, like plastic surgery for your nut sack. Is that right? Yeah, because I just, I just don't want to have the man ball, the old man balls. Yeah, I don't know if they do that, dude. No? No, I don't know if they give you a nut tuck. I think they I've just, never heard of this. I think you just get a vasectomy and if you want, if you ask real nice, they'll give you a, a circumcision while you're in there. I don't think they can give you a ball tuck. Uh, it'd be hard because it's so elasticy. Yeah, well, you don't want, <laughs> d- dude. You don't want to do anything extra down there than you have to, other than the circumcision, because the circumcision just turns you into a real human being. And long balls are like big noses too; <laughs> they give you character. <laughs> <laughs> they fill trunks real yeah. well too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plus, there's more stuff down there for yeah. chicks to see when you sit down at the bar. Yeah, yeah. Make sure they, yeah, they don't they know what it is. They yeah. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. They look down there and go, whatever it is, there's lots <laughs> of it. So if you're more balls than wiener, you're you're lucky because, uh, well, or unlucky. If you're more balls than wiener, there's just more to advertise, right? <laughs> it's like sticking your whole hand down your pants, but only the one finger works. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, it looks yeah. like never, a big, that looks yeah. like a big load yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a finger. Yeah, it's just it. a pinky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not bad, thank you. Hi, the edge. Trunks real well. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Hello, the edge. Yeah, dude. Hey, I just wanted to say, uh, Derek. Kudos to whoever brought Derek on board. He's doing a great job. Best Isn't he awesome? Job. Yeah, he is awesome. That bit the other day with uh, Rodney King in the swimming pools was hilarious. <laughs> no kidding. And uh, I do have an awkward question. Um, I keep having recurring dreams, and everything's going great in the dream, and then all of a sudden I open my eyes and I see Marilyn Dennis's face, <laughs> and I just get all freaked out. She was in that uh, Captain Morgan commercial too. She was? Yeah. As the Joker? Yeah. I don't think that was her. <laughs> what was it? It was when they pulled the, yeah, the, the, curtain the, the, the curtain back. I don't think that was her. <laughs> what was it? Oh. I think a, uh, what's that called there? I don't know. I thought it was her. No, it's not. Oh, it's no. a cigar store Indian. Yeah, that one. <laughs> mm. It was well chiseled. No, she's she's a wonderful lady. I and love and if I if I had a dream every night where I just kept seeing Marilyn Dennis, I'd be fine with it. She is an awesome, awesome lady. Perfect. I had the pleasure of meeting her once uh, at the airport. She's like so nice and so, so fun happy. and energetic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, wonderful lady. Nothing bad to say about her. Hi, the edge. It's gonna be a horrible weekend. Oh. Tragic and Niagara on the lake. Why? <laughs> He just wanted to get that in. <laughs> <laughs> what was he saying? He just wanted to say horror. <laughs> Hi, The Edge. Hi, I was just calling because I wanted to add a comment to the uh, Chuck the Ball. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually got one of my lips uh, trimmed when uh, after I had my children, and they had taken a little bit too much, even though you go in for a consultation and they're, like, telling you that, you know, this is what you're agreeing to and everything. And next thing you know, I come out of surgery with one lip, inner Libya lip, shorter than the other. So did you go in for cosmetic reasons to have, did you, did yeah. you have, did you have one of those, uh, one of those hoo-hahs that, that, uh, you, you know, guys look at for the first time and go like this. Oh, Jesus. 
No, it wasn't bacon strips. Not by any means at all. (laughs) I love you. Yeah, I even go, oh my God, don't show me that. So basically, yeah, you just ask for a little bit of cosmetic reassurance and they'll reassurance. take the whole yard. You know what they call it? They call it vaginal it? rejuvenation. Yeah, right? That's Were you, right. Did you let people pound on that thing for years or what? Oh, no, she's the tightest little pink thing I ever did see. Right-o. And I kind of wanted to keep it that way, so I was a little bit discouraged when I found out that, you know, the baby had made my lip elongated, and I'm like, wow, what's going on here? Even the slightest bit of rub or extra tug would bother me, right? Mm. And I'm very particular about my, my pink front and stuff. Mm. <laughs> I like to keep it nice about. and pretty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you went in for surgery and they messed it up, is that what you said? Yeah, and then they told me that the chances of me fighting uh, the Toronto uh, cosmetic board was going to be quite. Uh, of course they do. Well, yeah. you got to show the slides Exhibit and everything. A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had to let the whole thing go just probably for that little section, you know. So really, I, yeah. I'm willing to just uh, sacrifice. And- well, does how does it look from the outside? Like if you're standing in front of us, how would it look? Would it look normal? Oh, it looks perfect. Well, there you go. So what, what are you, you upset about? Yeah, why are you, why are you pissed off? Uh, well, I'm not, but it's just it, it's a little bit more sensitive than what I had expected yeah. after the surgery because mm. now I have no left inner Libya. It's just oh, kind of no. like... Oh, dear God. Just, oh, dude, lip. you know what? Honest yeah. to God, this is a true story. One time I um, yeah. I stubbed my toe and, and uh, the, the, the toenail came off my left yeah. toe. Oh. And now oh. it grows funny all the time and, and I know your pain. Yeah, see? And it's not anything particularly lovely to your toe or anything, but... (laughs) Now I'm going to think about your toe every time. Well, I'm going to think about your labia all the time. (laughs) I'm thinking about your labia right now. (laughs) That's awesome. That's awesome. The Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge.